What's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and you're with me, Spider Slayer. Guys, that's right. We are getting ready to do week 36 of the comic book haul. Uh, before we jump into it, though, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, starting tomorrow, I will be on um, vacation. Uh, me and my wife are going on a trip, and we're celebrating our wedding anniversary. Um, so for pretty much uh, starting tomorrow and through next week, um, I will probably not be on air. I'll probably be off for the week, if you want to say so. Um, so I'm going to try to get up a couple of videos before I leave. Um, I'm looking to try to get um, uh, Minimum Carnage issue 1 up on this channel and then on Dark Avenger Inc., uh, if you guys are looking interested in other reviews, I'm looking to do uh, Green Lantern Rise of the Third Army issue one and Amazing Spider-Man, um, the newest issue there, which is where we on 695. Um, so um, I'm looking to do uh, those particular issues before I leave. So stay tuned for those. And then from there on out, it looks like I will probably be gone at least uh, for a week or so. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up so I didn't fall off the face of the earth. And um, also, I'm not sure if I will be on the podcast next Tuesday night on Dark Avenger C86 um, uh, channel, but I will try to be there. So, with all that crazy stuff, let's get into some comic books now, shall we? It's the month of October, and we're getting ready for Marvel now. So I had to make some decisions on what books to get. Um, one of those decisions is last week I picked up Captain Marvel, read it, it still sucked. Unfortunately, unless it gets better, I'm not going to pick up any more further issues. Gambit, uh, I forgot to pick it up last week. Uh, I overlooked it. Um, not a bad series, it is a good series, but with Marvel now coming on, I'm not going to purchase it. Um, I'm going to wait and see, see what these Marvel Now books have to offer. And just like I did with the New 52, um, I will make my cuts as time goes on and then we'll get back onto other books. So uh, so right now everything is kind of being set up for uh, Marvel now. So let's get back into the haul. And here we go. Not too many books this week. Of course, always on the budget, but we did get some good ones this week. There are good books being released. Um, last week wasn't the best week for titles. Okay, so first off, we're going to start. Why don't we start off with the first one that's on the pile? We're going to start off with Green Lantern, issue number 13. Here it is, Rise of the Third Army. Um, this cover... It's pretty much identical. We can see the Green Lantern is identical from the issue zero cover, except now we actually have the background to it. And obviously, if you get other issues that tie into this Green Lantern series, it will make one continuous, long, elongated issue uh, or cover. So they will look pretty badass there. So, Green Lantern issue number 13. Look for a review on this on Dark Avenger Inc., okay? In-depth review. Um, next, I almost thought this was two Green Lantern titles, but in a way, it kind of is. Earth number 2, issue 5. Waiting for this one for a long time. Again, all these Earth Zero, or all these Zero issues from DC interrupted all the stories that we've been reading for the past month. So, it's pretty much been two months almost since we've read... Um, a regular issue of any of the DC titles. So Earth 2, Issue 5, we got Alan Scott doing battle with, uh, with um, the Death God, Gundy. So nice cover, kind of looks like, uh, um, what's his name, Hand there. Um, but I'm interested to see how this title turns out. The ending of the last issue was pretty neat. As you saw what Captain Adam, he was like big and then small at the end. It's hard to remember because it's been so long. But uh, great artwork there. So looking forward to reading that one. Uh, next, at last, the spectacular 38th issue of Avengers Academy. This is a remake cover off of issue 100, I think, of 
X-Men, if I'm correct. If I am incorrect, you guys let me know out there, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Um, and it says Academy versus X-Kids in a flag football game at the command of X-23. So nice cover right there. It's a remake cover. Um, in this part, you have X-23, where, where in the original cover, Charles Xavier was there. And you had Colossus, and you had all the other X-Men. So I like this cover. It's a great cover. Um, and it's cool because it's it guest stars the Wolverine and the X-Men. So uh, looking forward to reading this book. And this series is coming to a close, but then it's coming back later on. So uh, Next, um, Minimum Carnage Alpha. Been waiting for this a long time. This is going to be crossing over with... The Venom series, the um, Scarlet Spider series, and um, we've been talking for this for a while. It was it's a three ninety nine book. Um, it does have AR in it, which is pretty cool. Free digital download. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a review on this book on this channel, um, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, one of the better covers this week. Uh, I love the. Um, the carnage like how he's drawn and, and stuff like that on the cover um but yeah this is this is gonna be fun i'm definitely looking forward to that if you can get those three characters together that that's just in itself awesome next we have from marvel amazing spider-man issue 695 that's it after this one a few more issues guys we got 96 97 98 99 705 left um this is the beginning of pretty much like the Goblin Wars. We're going to see Green Goblins, or I'm sorry, Hobgoblins making their appearances back. The original go Green, uh, God, the original Hobgoblin is going to be making his return. Um, Dan Slott is obviously writing this book, and you have um, uh, the pencils in this one is Giuseppe Comicoli, so it's not actually done by. Um, Roberto Ramos, um, but the, the here's the interior art, so we'll see how it turns out. Looks like a lot of story, um, but yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 695. We'll see how this one goes. Hopefully, it's better than Alpha. Next, the Uncanny X-Men tie-in, Avengers versus X-Men issue number 19. That's it. This is one of the last issues that we have to see um supposedly based off of this it's the events of this issue take place at the same time as avengers vs x-men issue 12 so i guess it really doesn't matter when you actually read this title you can read the main title first or you can read this one also comes with a digital free download copy it's 3.99 Gotta like the cover with uh, the visor having the reflection of all the Avengers on there. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens to Mr. Scott Summers at the end of this whole thing. Uh, so out of the comics, of course, we round it off with Avengers vs. X-Men round number 12. That is it. Uh, $4.99 book. And this is obviously extra sized. You can just tell by the thickness and how everything is done. Um, it's been a long time. We've been reading this pretty much since April. We're in October now. And um, I thought so far the overall series has been satisfactory. Um, last issue was, uh, you know, it was good, but there was a lot of things missing, a lot of things confusing. We'll see how it truly ends after reading this bad boy. So looking forward to this one. Next, we have the previews book for Marvel. And this is for December solicitations. Uh, very cool cover. Uh, it's got the Avengers number one, I guess, cover on there. Um, here we uh, we open it up. And guys, it's got some really cool stuff that makes me excited here. Uh, Cable and the X-Force, issue number one. Definitely looking forward to that one. That is going to be exciting. Um, you turn it over here, and you got some great titles coming. 
especially this one, the new Thunderbolts title with the Hulk, the Punisher, Elektra, Deadpool. Very, very cool. Here we have a, a, um, a cover of Iron Man issue number three. And then you have, last but not least, oh, sorry about that. You have the Hulk, Indestructible Hulk number two with Iron Man on the cover also. So that is very cool. There's just lots of great stuff. Hopefully it's great stuff from Marvel going to be released. And um, really, really excited for it all. Um, so I'm sure on the podcast, if it's not talked about this week, um, it will be talked about the following week. Oh, and on the back, we have to love it and we have to cherish it now. There, there's... There it is. Look at that. Amazing Spider-Man issue 700. I would never think I would ever say that. The final issue. This is just awesome here. Just all the images of Spider-Man. You got the outline of Spider-Man's eye with all venoms inside of it. And then all within the white you have all miscellaneous characters over the years um, from Spider-Man. So that's very, very cool. I think I'm going to cry when this is over. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting upset about just thinking about it right now. And then um, on the back cover of this, too, we got Captain America number two, which kind of reminds me of a Hit Girl, a uh, uh, kick-ass cover, because it's got a little girl, and it's got Captain America with the blonde locks going on. Looks like just like a kick-ass cover. And then you got Thor issue three. But this is the one that I'm going to cherish. I might actually cut this out and use it as a background. Uh, yeah. And last but not least, we have all the preview book um, for this coming month. Or for... I'm not even sure what it's for. I think it's for December also. Um, yeah, for December. All the solicitations for December. For all the other companies, Image, DC, Dark Horse, um, Dynamite Comics. So we got a lot of stuff to discuss and to look forward to. And then we have the back. We have Death Was Only the Beginning, Hellboy in Hell. So there's the back of that cover also. And that's it, guys. That's the haul for this week. A lot of exciting stuff. It's October, November. Marvel now is going to be in full swing. All kinds of stuff going on. It's exciting to be a comic book collector. Once again, last year we had DC. This year we have Marvel. It's just, what are we going to have next year? I don't even know. What can there be? But let's just get through this right now. And uh, I'm totally excited. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul this week. Um, and I will see you when I get back from vacation. So guys, always thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, everyone.